The Denver Art Museum is showing dozens of woven designs from the past 500 years from what is present-day Iran, Turkey, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia. Museum director Christoph Heinrich says some of the rugs bridge thousands of kilometers, including the 1700s design from the Caucasus, with dragons that come from much farther east in Asia. This is one of the many indicators how these um, carpets were connectors between different cultures and were really bringing motifs, symbols, information from one country to another. Woven materials survive because they're unbreakable and relatively easy to carry. People use rugs to pray, to keep warm, and to sleep, as with this thick-piled Turkish yatak, which served as portable bedding. It gives you as well a sense of the um, variety of uses. Nowadays, a rug is usually something that you put on the floor and you it keeps the wo floor warm and or your feet and, and that's it. But at that time, um, in the 19th century, it was a bed and a very practical and I think when you look at it, it must have been a pretty comfortable bed. Other Turkish rugs in the exhibit include this Karaman carpet and this Demersi Kula rug, both from the early 1800s. While the weavers themselves are mostly unknown, Heinrich says regional artisans distinguished themselves with the colors of their wool dyes and the patterns of their knotting. Weaving is a little like pixels. It's not like when you paint something where you can just make whatever brush stroke. You always have these little dots that you have to think in as a maker. In the 1600s, the Iranian city of Kerman was a commercial weaving center known for using small vases in designs favored by the Safavid dynasty. Also on display is this fantasy animal carpet with a 13th century verse from the Persian poet Saadi Shirazi. A favorite with exhibit visitors is this lion from southwestern Iran. The immediacy of this amazing face looking at you is quite rare with the different uh, pattern, of course, as well, very inventive. So when you look a little closer, you have here a whole variety of patches, of circles, of different ornaments that are really trying to interpret the body. Heinrich says the rug's rich colors, patterns, and symbols show a deep history of trade and diplomacy across the region. The exhibit runs through May. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Denver.